finally it's the day of the travel so we got through the security and all no problems everything was okay now uh, the flight is at uh, six o'clock that's also right on time we came almost two hours early like two hours early we, we came here two hours early like literally for no reason <laughs> This was our first journey to Salina's Darjeeling home after three years. Our packing and preparations had started weeks ahead. In all our past travels, we have ended up paying for extra baggage. But this time, we were determined not to let that happen. Since the baggage situation was under control, we could now relax. There was plenty of time before the boarding began. And soon, it was time to bid goodbye to a rainy Trivandrum. Okay, so we have the um, usual uh, safe out here, and uh, we have the bathroom here, hair dryer, two clean towels. Here's the bath. Day two of the trip, Bangalore to Bangalore. Yeah. 
McDougra. Hello! So, if you're lucky, uh, when you're about to reach McDougra Airport, you can see the Malay mountain pictures. Take off on time. Great. Air Asia breakfast. Not so great. The flight reached Bagdogra Airport in Siluguri on time. From there, we were picked up by Salina's sister and family. We moved towards our destination for the day, Delo Hill in Kalimpong. In about half an hour, the road turned beautiful as it left the hustle and bustle of Siliguri town and entered the Mahananda Wildlife Sanctuary. I have always loved this route that runs through the reserve forest for more than 30 kilometers. We could see huge teak and sal trees on both sides of the road. Many places on this road were marked as elephant crossing zones. Through here, the elephants freely migrate between West Bengal, Assam and Nepal. After some time, we reached Sevok, crossed the Sevok river and then stopped for lunch. As the car moved on, we could see the construction of the new railway line that would connect Sevok in West Bengal with Rangpo in Sikkim. The entire track would be 45 kilometers long with 28 bridges and 14 tunnels. 38.5 kilometers of this line would be underground. That is crazy. It would be an engineering marvel and the first of its kind in India. I need to travel on that train once it is done.
as we took in the beautiful sights of this place, our destination got closer. Finally, we were there. Delo Park, a fog-filled wonderland on top of the hill. There is only one lodge in this government-run park where we got a cozy wood-paneled room. While Salina chatted up with her sister, I went around exploring. I could see that the sun was trying to battle the fog, but it had to give up soon. After some time, we moved towards Kalimpong town for dinner. The fog was so thick that you couldn't see beyond a few meters. When we reached the gate, we saw that the security had locked the gate for the day and had vanished. After getting the gate opened, we moved on towards the town. We enjoyed our dinner and the night walk afterwards. We could see people rushing to buy things and to get to their places before the town went to sleep. We too decided to call it a day and return back to our lodge. The next morning, I decided to explore the beautiful park at the place we stayed. Join me in the next episode of this trip to see that park. If you like this video, please click the like button, click the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you won't miss the coming episodes. Catch you in the next one. Goodbye.